and sea meets the land, it creates a distinct structure, diversity and flow of energy, called the coastal ecosystem. Mammalapuram, also known as Mahabalipuram, is a town in Kanchipuram in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. In Mahabalipuram lies the small village of Devaneri with a population of 650, fishing as their livelihood. Mr. Palani, a fisherman and a boat owner from Devaneri, has been engaged in fishing since 15 years of his age. He says fishing is the livelihood of their family since the time of their forefathers. Yang parents, adat muna di irko tata pati irna walam de, ide puri ika sutaga irikin terdengge. The fishers use a small catamaran that can carry a maximum of three to four people, which goes up to eight kilometers from the shore. They target many different species of fishes, crabs, lobsters, and shrimps. Mr. Palani noted that the commercial value of fishing has decreased over the few years with the changes in climate and industrial pollution. The village is kept relatively clean. The villagers do not dump their waste on the coastline. Now, if you do this, you can see that in this area, you can see that in this area. You can see that in the middle of the village. You can see that in the middle of the village. You can see that in the middle of the village. Six kilometers from the small village of Devanari, is a beach resort called Indeco Beach Resort. The resort is attracted by many tourists throughout the year with its natural environment, historical significance in the surrounding, and the beautiful coastline with the long stretched natural beach. Local and foreign tourists spend their vacations enjoying the natural beauty of the beach and its surrounding. They engage in sea sports, beach games, horse riding on the seashore, and simply relaxing at the beach. The coastline of Mahabalipuram is shared together by both tourism and fisheries, separated only by a distance of the six kilometers of coastline. Yet, the contrast between them seems much greater. Tourism operators complement the small village of Devaneri with grants and small aids for the development of the community. The villagers need to explore how they can incorporate tourism into their livelihood without tempering their culture, tradition, and the work of their forefathers. The village of Devanari is not much known to tourists. The village has only one guest house with just two rooms. Few villagers host some tourists at their homes with local hospitality and offers local homemade meals. Tourists are barely introduced to the village life and local traditions. Sir, I am the Mahabali room to Pulika Varika and the Anglican Sutra to Ramarilke. Ini nala bandu, beri island kara kelu bandar nala bandu. Kegel koru useful ari kau, bandu agana, koru selebi tinggal bandu, wana urundu arundur do, ilah face face pula koru help wadewi pantra do, enjo mari koru trust mari aku paniter panga. Anu mari nereyo paniter kanga, engkau pali koru tuko nereyo belina tikar kelu panir kanga, engkau gramu tu pali koru tuke. Ini nala aku warden nala, nala useful ari kau, tourist ke anu koru tondorong koru koru ada anu mari paniter kanga. The village life and local tourism is something which can be introduced to fishing villages closer to the coastline like Devaneri. This will not only support the livelihood of the fishing communities, but will support the sustainability of the coastal ecosystem. Tourism industry should support local tourism to be introduced to the local communities where the tourists can get a glimpse of the local traditions and cultures. Especially in a fishing village, the tourists can be attracted to many activities of their daily life, such as catamaran riding, setting up of gears, and fishing. If the economic sectors support each other on its development and well-being, together we can develop and sustain this important natural resource. Coastal ecosystem is an important natural resource, especially for those who are living closer to it. Fisheries and tourism are the main two industries which share this important natural resource. We need to look into ways how this important natural resource could be equally shared by the people. As we have seen, there's a contrast in difference between the people who are sharing these resources. 
fishermen living in, living in the coastal area, their living standard should always be complemented by the high-end industry, which is the tourism sector. Therefore, we need to look into ways how tourism can be integrated into the fishery sector and vice versa, so that each other industry can complement the development and sustainability of the coastal resources.